Well, while I'm at it, here's the chapter on the fourth sphere. So there's the first and second sphere are the astral realm, which is the lowest. The third sphere is where you should arrive, which is called Summerland. And you can live there for thousands of years, apparently. But then ultimately you move up to the fourth sphere. Life on the fourth sphere is quite as varied as that of the third, but the habits and thoughts of the people are much more spiritual. And one and one what and when one enters into these spheres, contact with earth is less close, and the mind of man is directed to the consideration of problems considerably in, considerably in advance of those which claim his, his attention either on earth or in the third sphere. Much attention is devoted to a comparison of experience and an, and an endeavor to ascertain the cause of these differences. Entering one of these schools, one finds men and women of an elevated nature detailing their past lives and describing their actions, some of them being of a most disreputable manner, yet they do this without a shadow of shame, for they have paid the full penalty of any wrong action, otherwise they would not be in their present developed state. They quietly discuss their reasons for seeking happiness by the methods they adopted when on earth and what the results of such actions have been in each sphere as they, as they have passed upwards. After comparing notes, each individual endeavor, endeavors to arrive at an understanding of the principles that were at work within his life. And one from the fifth sphere, so somebody from higher up, who acts as a kind of judge, helps them to their conclusions and throws light upon some of the problems which puzzle and confuse them. On this sphere, the tendency is for the inhabitants to, to dwell in brotherhood communities, the family gathering no longer being found. Brotherhood communities relate, in my mind, to uh, Francesco's Wanderer in the Spirit Land. He talks about uh, his Brotherhood of Hope. And so, um, so this book has has a lot of things that are, are reminiscent of these two other books, which are Francesco's Wanderer in the Spirit Lands and uh, Monsignor Hugh Benson's Life in the World Unseen. So this would all be part of the spiritualism trend. Um, and as I've said before, this would all just be a kind of a novelty if it wasn't for the fact that people having near-death experiences today are describing a similar space. And so it appears to me that when we die, we enter into this kind of spirit sphere world and we exist there for, for thousands of years. All right. Thanks. See you. Bye.